Adam Rittenberg, our ESPN College Sports Reporter, joins us now here on Sports Center. And Adam, clearly a disappointing situation for VCU with these multiple positive tests over the last 48 hours. But help me understand this part, though. We just saw the protocols that the NCAA laid out in terms of if teams were to test positive, they could still stay in the tournament. And according to VCU, they did have enough players to meet that five-player protocol in order to be able to play. So why were they not allowed to? Yeah, Michael, it came down to contact tracing, and ultimately the public health department here in Marion County, Indiana, along with the NCAA, felt that because of the multiple positive tests in a short period of time, it would not be safe for, for VCU to continue to play, even though those players had tested negative. They could have passed it along to another team. They could have passed it along to multiple people in this region. And as head coach Mike Rhodes said, even though he was disappointed, obviously, with the decision, uh, you know, you, 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 when you have that cluster in in a short period of time, you can't be too careful. He does not question the medical experts on this. And it basically became a waiting game throughout the day, VCU said, answering some questions. They knew they had some positive tests, but they were waiting on a decision. That decision came down around 6.30 tonight. The, the, the game against Oregon set to be played behind me here at the Farmers Coliseum would be declared a no contest and unfortunately ending VCU's season. Yeah, abundance of caution is a term we've been using a lot over the last year or so and clearly it was in play in this situation uh, but here's the deal also adam teams have been dealing with coronavirus and the threat of it the entire season i wonder now that they are in indianapolis or at least on the way there to compete for this national championship how teams have continued to deal with it or has it been different approach based on the fact they're in indiana well, Michael, they're, they're obviously all in quarantine and locked down as much as possible, but the anxiety is still very much there. I mean, VCU said that they did everything right. They had multiple negative tests. They felt good about their chances until this cluster of positive cases. You know, Kansas coach Bill Self, who played in this building behind me, had a player come out of COVID protocol. David McCormack led the team in scoring in their victory over Eastern Washington. He, Self said afterward that the anxiety he feels every night, every day when you're getting these tests back, he waits up until two in the morning for the, the text from the athletic trainer to say you guys are clear for this day so it is a constant anxiety even though they're in the bubble here in indianapolis and that'll be the case for every team as long as they're here uh you know, they want to be here but they're going to have to deal with the the nerves uh, of finding out those tests on a daily basis and for those of us who have been tested for the coronavirus we can relate to that feeling of anxiety until you get that result to say that you are negative there's a lot of doubt in your mind, especially for these young kids trying to compete for a championship. you got to wonder what that feels like as well. Adam Rittenberg there in Indiana. Appreciate the time. Thank you.